So submarine, I might start with a sphere, kind of get a nice tube going here, something like this. And then on the top, we have maybe our egress ability to enter said submarine. Maybe some sort of ballast tank and propulsion. So propulsion, I'm just gonna kind of square off in the back here. Freestyling like we do on the channel, keep it rough and loose. I did a submarine the other day. Um, it wasn't my best submarine by any means, but we're just gonna fudge, <laughs> fudge in the propellers. I did want to do a mountain bike. That's what I wanted to do. I got some comments on my mountain bike video that I did. People weren't particularly happy with the fact that I spent so much time on the person and not enough time on the, the object. So I may do a video on that or we could revisit that today if we have the time. But thank you for the suggestion of doing just this quick submarine. Super quick, should we make it yellow? Because you know, yellow submarine, all that stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and preemptively just put some bubbles here and maybe just a little hint of something of an ocean floor like so some part lines right this isn't made up of one consistent piece of metal i'm trying to i don't know exactly what else is on a submarine so i'm just going off kind of memory here and i'm trying to decide if i want to um you know have this be some sort of window and maybe we'll, we'll just make it fun um because i did i did one like this um on my instagram recently so i'm just gonna borrow from that and we could have this be like a multi-level type thing here on the inside okay something like that We'll, we'll obscure a little bit of the inside. Ella says, maybe how to get across the movement of an object. Maybe like a soap pump or door handle. Yellow and blue. Hmm, interesting. Yellow and blue. I think if I'm going to do that, then I'm going to move this part line just a little bit. Do something like this. A little bit more controlled and now I can take I did get some more ad markers chart packs so I'm just gonna take these and use these for the yellow bits here including the front of the submarine and the top Someone on Facebook was asking how I get multiple values out of one marker. A lot of times I'll just wait for the marker to dry. It looks super bright on the overhead screen, but I promise you it's not that bright of a yellow. So definitely hit up that download and check it out. Um, but usually I'll wait for the marker to dry and then kind of hit it again. That's one way to do it. So I'm gonna make the body blue as was requested so let me grab my blue markers here actually I'll just use I'll use the cheap ones we'll use the cheapo markers today So here, this isn't exactly the Blue Angels blue, but that's okay. I want to get like a base tone down for the blue, because we're gonna go darker. Trying to keep in mind where I kind of place these shadow cores and the highlights on the top, or this front portion. Thank you. 
I guess this uh, tank here or little area, we can make that blue as well. Just like that, got our lid. I'm not sure what you call that. Is that a lid, access door? Is that the emergency hatch? What is that? So now I can start to tone things out a bit more with the marker. Again, once your marker is dry, you can always hit the paper again. You can probably get three or four values out of one marker, if depending on the marker, but also if you're just careful in how judiciously you apply that color. Okay, so this is still one marker. All of this is one marker. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and shade the inside right there. Just on the outside, let's put a shadow core right there. And what I mean is I want a little bit of darkness next to this light and then I can blend going back out like so. Sketch it on paper and keeping it real today. That's how we do. <clears throat> All right, so this yellow, I do happen to have some additional yellow markers and I can use some gray as a trick as well to make that area a little bit darker. Do I use 3D for realistic presentations? Asks Charlie. Yes, I do. I do quite a bit. Um, I just don't post about it or share it usually because it's client work. Um, but for my own purposes, I don't typically need 3D. So I guess that's why I don't really show it. Um, because personally, I don't need it, if that makes sense. But my go-to is uh, Fusion and, well, right now anyways, Trained in SolidWorks, Alias, Rhino. I use SketchUp just for quick um, underlays. Sometimes I'll even throw a SketchUp model into KeyShot, which is a rendering program if you work in 3D and use that for uh, just rendering out scenes that I create in Google SketchUp. Well, I guess it's not Google SketchUp anymore, but um, in SketchUp. When I bought it, it was Google SketchUp. I bought it when I was designing a home and I needed to uh, do all the drawings for the woodworking I was gonna be doing in the home. So it was a really great, great tool then. That's Google, or sorry, I keep saying Google. That's SketchUp. All right, a little extra blue on the sub there. Now you can kind of see it's getting some form to it. On the inside, I want to make that gray, like a darker gray. So we'll start with this basic gray three, just on the inside. Inside here. And what I like to do here is just put shapes or things in, you know, if this is a person, for example, on this level of the sub, just kind of fill that in. And as I'm doing this, it's not just, hey, you're putting random shapes in place. It's what could this be? What could that be? Um, I overshaded right there, but we can fix that. So yeah, maybe some of these are, you know, people standing on a deck, looking out into the ocean. This is like a weird toy sub, but, um, but yeah, maybe these are, are people. We can add some lines here. Just get some detail in place. And now that the color is in, I like to come back with my pen. And now I'm able to kind of pull out the lines where I need them to be. Just like that. If you're not comfortable using, uh, say, the black ink to pull out those details, you can just use a darker gray. 
tends to work just as well for me anyways. This is a paper made flare pen. Once again, if you're interested in anything I use, I always post the common materials in the video description, or you can check out sketchaday.com slash stuff. And yes, those links are Amazon links, but that just means that here we get a little bit of a thank you from Amazon for that purchase. So if you're looking for a way to support what we're doing, that's another way if you're curious about some material or something. So feel free to use those links or not. It's all good. I won't be mad. All right, so let's add some panels to our submarine. You know, maybe these are riveted metal or something. So adding a couple rivets here. Don't want to overload the drawing, but kind of just hint at what might be happening. Very subtle, but it is there. Do that on the yellow as well. Just nice thin line, super thin. Maybe stagger. And just touch the paper, kiss the paper with the pen while spacing those dots out. Just like that. On the inside here, like I said, you know, maybe, maybe you're sketching in some elements more people standing. You know, people are a great way to establish scale. And <laughs> if this is how big the person is, this thing is way too big. But um, let me think what I can turn that into. Um, maybe I'll turn this into some sort of, you know, radar or accessory thing on the top here. I don't know what this does exactly, but maybe it's some sort of scanner as they're exploring the, the ocean floor. Just Googled my pens and your YouTube video shows up. Oh, thank you. Is that how you found this whole thing, Latrice? Or are you just pointing out that Google is aware of what we're doing at Sketch -A Day? Is that what you're saying? All right, so just made that blue. Maybe I'll add some text to this. So just a, just a little quick cover up here. Now you know my dirty secret. This was supposed to be our hatch, but maybe I'll put a ladder on the side going up to some, you know, some hatch on the side. Cause this is a, it turns out this is actually a huge submarine. So maybe there is some ladder here. Just on the side. All right, getting close guys. What should we do next? Let's see, I've been going for an hour, so I can probably do two more sketches. So let me know what you wanna see. Should I, should I do another mountain bike? Should I do the bridge? Um, surprisingly, there was no car. I could do a semi-truck, that'd be fun. That would be fun. David suggested a semi-truck. What do you guys think? I actually haven't done one of those in a long time. All right, so just like that. And now I'm gonna take this white marker and we'll just hit a couple things like these rungs on the ladder. It's just nice when you have a nice, <laughs> I said nice twice. It is a good thing when you have a dark color to work with. I feel like these white pens just really make things pop. Um, of course, you don't want to overdo it. And I can always mute that. I can show you how to do that. If you're using one of these. This is a Molotow, Molotow 
Um, I am going to be doing a video on white pens. I'll show you guys how to do that. All right, maybe there's some text on the submarine, you know, some little text here and there. Um, this could be the SS sketch or something. This is like my generic. writing that I do on stuff. So this is the SS sketch. Maybe some additional text here and there. Something like that. <laughs> I wish I could. I wish I could play Yellow Submarine, but I would get shut down so fast. Um, in fact, I think it was Sunday on Sunday's show, we had a pre-show for the Patreons and there were two songs on this one playlist I was using that apparently violated copyright and I had to go through this hours long ordeal of trying to fix it. So what you're listening to now is the only one I've found where I don't really have any issues and I'd rather not deal with issues. Um, you know, like shutting down my account or something, that kind of thing. So I'd rather avoid that, guys. So hopefully you don't get too tired of the music. All right, just a little bit more grays back here, but trying to create some depth in this front area. 